In this tutorial video, I will show you how to use the sum product function in Excel. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Here is a sales table of a company. We can analyze the data present here in multiple ways. One way is using filters and total row and another popular way is by using pivot tables. Pivot tables are very powerful but they require additional steps. It is possible to get somewhat dynamic results from data using inbuilt Excel functions. One of these powerful functions is the sum product function. The sum product function returns the sum of products of corresponding range of arrays. It can be a handy tool in doing quick and dynamic calculations. Note that this data is formatted as a table with the table name as sales. I'm using tables here to ensure that my sum product function is dynamic and easy to implement. The information we have in this table are date, region, category, quantity, unit price, amount and month. Let's say that now we wanted to look at the sales for a particular region or category or month or a combination of any of this. We can easily get this using the sum product function. The syntax of the sum product function is sum product of array1, array2, array3 and so on and so forth. Where array1 is required and array2, array3 onwards are optional. The array argument is basically the components that we want to multiply and then add. Let's say now that we wanted to calculate the total sales amount for the year 2020. We can do that using the sum formula, but I will show you how to do it using the sum product formula too. So let's go to cell J5 and enter the formula as equal to sum product of the array 1 which is required. And here the array 1, I'm going to choose it as amount select all the way down so it shows the table name sales and the field amount which is the whole column G and just press enter there you now get the total sales amount for the year since we only chosen one column which is amount it's going to just sum all the values in this column and hence we get the total sales amount now let's say we wanted to find the sales for the north region we can easily do that by adding another argument to our already built sum product formula. So let's go to cell J5 and let's go inside the formula. To ensure that we always get accurate results, we need to put each argument within its own brackets. So let's put the sales amount within its own brackets and then put a multiply symbol, open an other bracket. And now let's put our array 2, which is going to be the north region. To do that, we need to first select the column C, which is the region column. Select all the way down. So now you have the whole region column selected. And that we need to say should be equal to north. You need to enter north in double quotes and then close the parenthesis for the region. So now you have sales amount as one argument which is the array one and you need to put a multiplier and then put sales region and we've closed the sum product brackets and just press enter. So now you will have the sales for the north region. To get east region all we need to do is go within this formula and type east. Though it is simple, it is cumbersome to go back and forth within the formula and change the condition. We can make it simpler by referring the condition to another cell value within the workbook. So I'm just going to unhide some columns. The columns from L to N are basically drop down menus where the row 4 is for the regions, row 5 is for month and the row 6 for various categories. I have achieved this using data validation, uh, the tutorial of which you can see on the top right corner of the screen right now. So let's map the selection in cell M4 to our formula. 
So let's go to our formula and now instead of putting east or north, we need to put the cell M4 and just press enter. So since it is empty, the sales is going to be nil as there is no region with an empty cell value. So now let's go to the cell M4 and I'm going to select let's say north. Automatically you get sales data for the north region. Now if you want to get data of the west region, all we need to do is select west. The advantage of some product formula is you can have multiple conditions within a category. That is we have the option to get the data for west and let's say north region. To do that, let's go to our cell J5 and now let's update this formula. So let's go at our array 2 condition and now let's put that within another parenthesis. Okay, so we have our first condition as sales region should be equal to M4, which in this case is going to be west. And if we want to add even north, we need to go and put a plus symbol and again open a parenthesis, select the region column again, should be equal to N4 close the parenthesis. We need to ensure that whenever we add an OR condition within our sum product formula, each category needs to have its own parenthesis. So the sales region equal to M4 should be enclosed within its own parenthesis and the sales region equal to N4 should be also enclosed within its own parenthesis. And then you enclose that condition for array 2. And then when you press enter, that now you will have data of sales for both west and north region, which is basically saying that whenever the condition meets either west or north, we need to add the sales. Even if we have the second category as empty, it's still going to calculate only for one region. This flexibility is not available in other formulas or functions in Excel. And that is what makes some product really different and unique. Let's say that now we wanted to see the sales figure for a particular combination of regions for a particular month. To do that, let's go to our sum product formula again, cell J5. And now let's add our array 3. To do that, we do the multiplication symbol, open and close the parenthesis for array 3. And now I'm going to open the parenthesis for my first condition. And let's select the month column all the way down so sales month should be equal to I'm going to select M5 in that I'm going to add another month condition just in case we want to have multiple conditions and again select the month to be equal to cell N5. So that we've added our array 3. Let's close the function and just press enter. Now you see that our sales is showing 0 because though we've selected the region west, we haven't selected our month. So let's select our month now. Let's say I'm going to select May and that. You'll get the sales for the west region for the month of May. If you wanted to see both west and Let's say East region, we can select East and there. For both West and East region, this is the sales for the month of May. Now, the advantage again of some product is I can add another month here. Let's say I'm going to select June. So now if we have for the both month of May and June, the sales for West and East region. We can do the same thing for category. So let's again go to our trusted some product formula go within the formula and to add the array 4 I'm going to put the multiplier symbol open and close the array now for our category select the cell sales of category should be equal to M6 or I'm going to open and close the parenthesis and just copy paste this data here and instruct M6 update to N6. There, just press enter. 
and now again our sales is going to show nil because we haven't selected a category and if I select refrigerator now I'll get the sales data for the sales of refrigerator for the month of May and June in West and East region and again we can delete any of these categories and you'll just get for the month of May in the West region what the sales has been for a refrigerator and if I want to select for refrigerator and let's say television now I get for both the categories what the sales is. Since some product is an inbuilt function in Excel, it updates automatically as the data changes. So let me just move all this to the top so that we can easily see this as we scroll down. Let's add some data here now. Note our sales figure here and our selection is for West region for the month of May for refrigerator or television. So let's just add a data for the month of May. Let's pick the West region. Let's pick television. And let's say that I'm going to add six quantities for 100,000. I'm just going to press enter here and check the sales figure in cell J2. That it updated automatically. If you had used pivot tables in this case, one had to go back to the pivot table and refresh the data, which we don't need to do when we use a function like some product. Some product functions can be really useful where one is making interactive dashboards and reports based on user selections. It is fast and does not need to be refreshed periodically. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, ciao.